Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny and if you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a palette bingo. I really have been loving doing palette bingos. It seems like other people are liking the palette bingos as well. So if you're one of those people, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. We are going to be doing that bingo using the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is actually not my palette. This belongs to my best friend Aisha. She lent it to me so that I can make some videos. So today we are going to explore this a beautiful palette. Look at all that goodness. Yes. So we're just going to do a palette bingo using this and I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, so I am pulling up my random number generator and I'm going to go ahead and select my first number. So my first number is number three. Number three is, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, seashells, whatever. I'm just going to call it seashells. This green. And that is such a beautiful shade. Then the next number is going to be 14. So 14 is the color Palm, which is this brown. And if you don't know, there are six shimmery shades and all the other ones are matte shades in here. All right, it's very neutral. I've seen that, those two colors together before. Next number is number seven. So number seven is Meridian. That right there. Oh, this is like a periwinkle blue, but with like a shift of just like some glitters in it. Next number is 13. 13 is Canes, Canes, which is a purple. Wow. Okay. That's that color. And last but not least, 11. 11 is Bahamas. So Bahamas is this pink shade. Wowza. Okay, so there is my color scheme. Um, hmm. I need a minute to think about this and see like what I want to do with it. So I've already primed my eyes and put on my brows. I'm going to start by using that first um, shade right here, which is the Bahama. And I'm going to go ahead and buff that into my crease and above my crease. And just for reference, I'm using my Morphe uh, 513 brush. I'm actually going to dip into the color estate um, a little bit just to shade that top area of the eye. Um, I feel like it doesn't have anything up there and I didn't clean this brush or anything. I'm just going to put it over it. Okay, now that that is on the eye, I'm going to go ahead and work some of the Cane's color into my crease area. So I'm possibly just going to put it like right in this area right here. And that's the purple shade. Oof. I'm going to try to lightly put that in the crease area. And 
And this is the Morphe 506 brush. And I'm trying not to get it down here because I'm going to carve that out and do like a, what's that called? Cut crease. I'm going to go back into that Bahama shade and put a little bit more of that because I feel like it's fading. And I do want to just like blend that into the that purple shade. And now I'm going to take some concealer. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Master Conceal to cut my crease with. Yeah, just a plain, what I would call, concealer brush. I'm going to squeeze a bit of this on here. And I'm going to tap this right here. Look up. It tells me where my crease ends. drag it down I like to blink a couple of times to actually get the like full effect of where it actually is sometimes you have to blink a couple of times um, throughout so that you could really know the shape um, that you're gonna do the last thing you want to do is do this and then it creates a second crease. <laughs> I think I want this look to be a little bit more rounded than what I actually usually do. Okay, so there I have cut my crease. It's not exactly perfect but um, it's definitely going to do and I'm gonna go in with the Mediterranean shade and I just cleaned off that brush but it's still a little wet so that's actually perfect because I'm going to pat this in to that cut area And I'm just going to do um, the top part of that. And I'm going to leave this section right here empty at the moment. That is actually such a pretty shade. And I'm just using a wipe to clean off this brush. And um, I'm going to go into that uh, Seychelles color, which is that green shade. And that's what I'm going to pat in that middle section. So right in here. I feel like this is such a fun mermaid shade. I 
Also, I feel like gem because these colors remind me of the 80s a whole lot. <laughs> Then what I'm going to do right over that, I'm going to take that um, Mediterranean shade and I'm just going to pat over like the seam of those two colors. And then... So the last shade that I have is that brown shade, which I'm not fond of because I don't think it goes with anything in this palette, to be honest. When I look at it, I mean, well, there's a there's a bunch of colors that I feel like are not cohesive to like a look. They go together. So the yellows and browns, they kind of all go together. But then the pops of color don't really match that tone. I don't know. It's... Uh, definitely I don't know what they were thinking when they put it together so I'm gonna go in with this little brush and I'm going to line the bottom um, of my lash line with the brown I'm going to then Put a little bit of the pink shade that we have on top and I'm just gonna be kind of with this brush just messy with it and then I'm going to take a little bit of that brown and I am going to try to sneak it into this area right here, sort of to have some type of cohesiveness with the brown that's down there. But I don't want it to overpower that little edge. And also I don't think that it goes with purple. Brown and purple to me do not go together at all. Okay, so I'm going to get off and then do the rest of my face and I will be back to show you my finished product okay so this is my completed look I went ahead and put some white liner in my waterline as well as I put on some lashes and these are the Eyelore lashes um, they are the 155s which I love Eyelore lashes and um mascara and all that bit and then just put my regular face on so this is my completed look i really hope that you enjoyed seeing another bingo especially using a palette that i don't really own and uh yeah this is making me want to play with more color because this really just gives me like barbie vibes uh if you're wondering what lipstick i have it's the la colors one that i have I actually hauled it from the Dollar Tree and it does have a name. It's called Forever Fuchsia. So that's what's on my lips right now. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.